one of the greatest and the best na arsenal iti may isang preacher malaksi the truth ni iti iti Diyos is his heart without the heart the truth will become useless without the heart of the preacher or the maison of cristiano everything that you do for the lord will be considered as the waste useless so i am reminded of the book of the revelation where god said after in express ni Apodius iti commendation na ag iti Christians iti Ephesus. As they are a good contender of the faith. As they are a strong in the truth and in theology. And yet God express iti naragsan na ako na na iti church to Ephesus. But there's something. And iti may isa nga ba nangahan ko lang nga magustuhan ka na kayo. And God said, that is, you have left your first love. May warning mat lang dija, na ito dija nga bilin iti 1 Corinthians chapter 15, when God said, ah, uh, 13, when God said, kung na Apostol Pablo, ni Apolis, baba ni Apostol Pablo, nga, even though I give my body to be burned, I give all the possessions that I have, even though I have all the knowledge and even have the greatest ability to speak and yet if there is no love then it is useless that is the reason why that the greatest weapon of the preacher is his heart without the heart every truth and every service Every sacrifice being offered are considered useless to someone it is. And I could see that it is not a problem that you have to do it in your state. Even if the workers it is. But there seems to be a problem that you have to do it in your workers it is not a problem. But the problem is their heart is forgotten in a cultivate. They have lost their passion for the Lord. They have lost their passion to rescue the lost. They have lost their passion to bring people to heaven to the Lord Jesus Christ. They have lost their passion in the fellowship. Oh, I see that's a great problem in the Christians. And there was already a declaration. Kanyada. Far out! That is a term. Itigiti firemen, when they try to kill a fire, or nalpasan, nga pinatay da, iti apoy. Far out! My brother, Oh, I am reminded of David when he is getting old. When he was getting old. And that may isang situation na madamay ti gubat and the young warriors na kakadwa na di habay na makita na iso na kat ni kinmapsut mo ton awa na di pigsa na hana mo ton may wasiwas di ima na and they have protected the king ni David. And just like David nuna duma ti ayat tayo kat kasla tayo lang nga nabon-bonlug nga warrior nga iwas-wasiwas na lang ng ti spada na. And we are just doing the things that we are doing na wani ti puso tayo. Oo, may lasin tayo ti may isang nga tao nga dati puso na, right? We could see and we could sense iti may isang tao who is there serving the Lord and makita tayo iti puso na. Talaga nga sincero iso na. Hantay mat nga nang nangidahin. The way a man would speak there, we could feel the intensity that there's something iti boses na that carries the message in our hearts. And what is that? That is the passion nga nagapu iti Diyos. And it is just but right that we need to maintain 
the passion or else were useless. In all my life, I would admit na minanumat nga nagbalinat ng biktima. Nagbalinat ng biktima, iti panagsirbi, nga nuna dumak at awanan di puso, nga just for the sake of routine, just for the sake of standing there, and after standing there, I know and we know nga nalamis di puso, and I know the members felt how cold am I that morning. And in the service of preaching the word, they felt the coldness of my heart. And I know they felt that I've lost my first love, my passion. And after the Ayaksangi Taklan and Tirabiti Sunday, and I cried to the Lord and said, Lord, forgive me for that coldness. And I told ko tata, ng servisyo ko na itod ko And for that, I came to realize since passion kat mabalin nga ma-declare nga fire out and the devil would try to put it out it is just but right nga we must be wise in maintaining the fire just like the temple nga mamin-maintain di apu eh tap mo na pudot yung adayos tam kanayon nga na pudot yung nga uray ti demonyo kat ag problem nga mga panunot niya ti kasta nga mga indep ka natin and throughout my life, I would like to share some principles on how I maintained a warm, passionate heart for the lost, for the Lord, for His glory, for His honor, and how I pray that it will help you as well. First, Duhan nga masapung in order, anything will do, it's just a sharing of testimony in my part as a worker, and may it help you as well as this. I recall God's working in my past. I go back to the past in my life, the victories that I had, that the Lord had done in my life, and remember those times where the Lord brought victory in my life. I remember and I recall those first preaching that I have where people and students in City Higher are crying in tears, listening to the preaching of the word. I go back to my first preaching day, Shilan, where I was invited. And the only message that I have is my life verse, me Hebrews 9, 1-7. And I preach it to them. And after the preaching, they were all crying in tears that the Lord visited that simple, ordinary sermon message from a small young man. When I go back to the PSJ at PSTC, this Pilan Midi, this Maharlika, where Madamai, the Bible study me, and I fix up the Tudu, and I'm shouting to the top of my voice just for the people, the 50 students gathered there listening. And I recall those times in the life of the children. Listen to them. They give ibagbagada nga you come back, visit us once more. I recall those times, and let those occasions bring heat to my coldness, cold heart. And that is what I do. Oh, I reminded me, David. When David was confronted and when he was facing the Goliath, Kunani David, nukasanotin kasta ni Apulis kanyak ko ng tulong when I conquered and I killed the lion and the bear, the same thing that the Lord will do. Kanyang tatangal daw. Remember the past. Secondly, I also take a good rest and I came to realize na in those coldless times, kat na banugak. Na dati pigto na, iti banug, iti physical nga bagi, emotional stress, Mentally stressed, physically stressed, ka ada the connection na diyan nga sometimes it will also affect the spiritual life more. That you could not perform and you could not present a passionate, sincere heart. Kasla ka lang na ibig makandi Elijah. And just like Elijah, when he ran away from Jezebel, being scared, don't know what to do. He ran away, he, he, he hid himself, it in mice in a cave, and God said, you sleep, and you take a rest, and you eat, and that's it. 
The only thing that we need to do is the body got masapul, marijuvenate, marifresh manan, that not function ngana siya. Oh, I am reminded, kini yu tikos, yu taikos, di natin nagngabaru yu tawa. He could not even bear the long preaching na pustol Pablo yu nga tiyempo. That to the point nga natin nagisunan. Even so many times, even though how we desire to be used for the Lord, but sometimes if the body is very tired, it needed rest. We needed to take a break and take a rest. Rest is very important and it will affect the emotion. It will affect the mental need. It will affect the spiritual situation and condition of ourselves. And that is why we need to take a good rest. Because many times, the coldness in the heart by you is the product of being so tired throughout the week. The coldlessness by you to go this Sunday and listen to the word is because we are so tired. And if the body is tired, many times the body would kill and would overrule God. That we could not do our responsibility in spiritual things. I also take a break when I could feel that my heart is getting cold. I go for a walk. That's why the book of Psalms was written in the the wilderness. Lonely in David, but those places has been a blessing because he saw God's word through his creation. He saw encouragement, he saw lessons in the creation it is where he should where hanang na adal kumadi jay di adal na katugaw di palasya. That's why the book it is Psalms is a very good book that connects us. Even the greatest warrior would complain, would come to a point of turning and temp being tempted to turn away from the Lord. And uh, taking a break, looking at the creation, going back with my family, the yellow trail, taking a break, bike to Burnham, that's it. Sometimes I also go to the gym. Natatanga lockdown na one matun, but usually there I go. When emotionally I'm tired, my heart is being burdened. I'm so stressed up, being hurt by people. I go to the gym and exert every pain that I can. Iti rikrik na, iti gibat, iti gidumbles and iti barbels, just to pour out what is in me. Iti panagbagat, iti gym. So one of the place, sacred place that I go through is I go to the gym. It is a place where I pour out my stress through those dumbbells and barbells. And that's what I do. Oh, take a break. We many times take a break. Even if the tang sapan, the gitilugan, na the cold start, ng luglugan, they needed it heater. And uh, those break, a uh, simple press, the warmer, the heater, a click, a button, or probably switch tail, tap no mapapulut di makina, that is enough to keep the to keep it in my, the engine na nalakang may start, and that is what we need. I'll take a break, and uh, of course, fourthly, I go back to the history. I go back to the Christian history. I go back to Charles Haddon Spurgeon. I go back to Nettleton. I go back to Jonathan Edwards. I go back to Martin Lloyd Jones. I go back to the time New Whitfield. I go back to the time of the Puritans. I go back to the days of the reformers, and I find myself that I have so many friends in this world, present world, na the traitors, na I find faithful friends through the lives of the people, na the history. My best friends are dead people in the history. My mentors are already dead. And I'm so thankful that they, though they are dead, yet their lives speak through their writings. 
means our surat. We have fellowship together, nag through their books, through their articles, nga nai surat pa pati internet, and that's a blessing, nga may isa. Nga hindi awan ka namin di Bible school, na di private nga ni. Ami amun, wanya ti writing sila, basta nai surat, mistake na, mistake na, nga awan man lang ti evidensya. Now I came to realize we have been so judgmental to these people that we failed to test them to study them well. And I came to find out that I have faithful friends through these dead people in the past, through their writings that has been preserved in the internet and computers. Oh, history. Kaslangay nga pagdadangan. I remember ni Kobe kami nga agdadang kami in iti Pugun. That is where we go. No, at tutunan, napas nga bunag kami. Kurta ka ni kata, agdadang kami yan iti Pugun nga nga paglutlutuan mi dyak, circle kami ang kakasinsin and we are there, dadadadang kami. That is what history will do. Pagdadangan iti kararua. I do not go there to worship these people. I do not go there. Nga dahi dayawan na gitu. I am aware that worshiping these people is not good. But in the fellowship, in the fellowship, it in sursurat na, in the wisdom that they have written, I find comfort, I find rebuke, I find correction, I find many things that a faithful person that Tanga Chimpunga Kadwa would give through this history. How and what they have they done, they stood firm, despite it, they were there. It's a blessing. I also focus my eyes to the cross of Christ. And the chimpong and alamis, I go back to the cross and remember and remind myself who am I that the second person it is would be willing to die in Karahan. Who am I? Who am I that this Savior would come and would take my place, he would become a man? And siluak na may sat na pili na I am worthy to be damned to hell and I know myself and I do not deserve this salvation. So I go back to the cross. Think about the passion that Christ has done, the sufferings, the emotions that he has there. And he finished his mission well. And I go back to his ministry, Tata, nga as a Christ, as a Savior. Han lang ang nagpatinggay sunod di cross, but he's there di heaven, di throne di heaven, doing the work of a mediator. And I find myself, my Lord, you understand, and you felt my pain. And makirikrik na ka, kanya ka, anak mo. Anak mo, Apo Yus. And it warmed me. The Takayo de Cruz nga diya ay give me a warm feeling in my heart. Nakas na pag bonfire. That keeps me on fire for the Lord. I also look to my family, my children in the next generation. When I'm down, when people have tried to put my passion out, I go back to my wife, the support that she gave. It is a patanang, he left his family just for the call, kanya ka asawa And we started the family, and here are the children looking at their dad. What will they feel? Matinalikodak ni Apunis. What will they do? And what will they? Hindi ati kastaraman. Will I set an example kanyana to my children? Will they be happy to their dad? Nga kunada na. Their dad is so strong. Nga awan pulo sinibatan na. Despite iti padas ngayon may kanyana. He was there moving on. Nga ipasa dati pa po. And to the next generation. I look back to the next generation. If nobody will stand up today, no agbabababababain la nanti mang mangyari. Nobody will really stand for what is right. 
Sino pa ti ihimpo ti sumaruno ka generation? Oh, this thinking, these practices have kept my heart burning. And lastly, I remind myself of the brevity of my life and the eternity future that I have only one life and I have only one strength. Today I am already 39. And I have already more manulang na tawang tinabat bati kanya to be faithful to the Lord. And later on, I don't know, ag bag down mo ti utakon, ag kabo akto mat later on. And it's not time for me to rest but to be more active in the Lord because I do not need to wait for the time where my mind would bug down and my body would collapse and could not do the work anymore. That's why I do, I do my best to record the getting a mess, to bring message, to, bring, to reach out the lost, to, to reach out to some of our generation. Because I don't know where my body and my mind would stop. And even if it's clear my thinking, the panun ko patni, nalalag pa. I fully understand that there is a limitation, iti bagi. But later on, everything will end. And now is the time to take care of that heart because if I do not have the heart, I've lost my passion, everything will be gone. I think of the brevity of my life and I thank of the eternity future and I think about hell, I contemplate the hell, I contemplate the heaven. Well, I heard about Jack Hiles, so not the first thing I preached ago. Dagiti kakadwa ng Bible ba? I'm so much blessed ko na nga I contemplate about hell and I think about hell I think about the reality of hell and I do my best nga di apoy itong pierno kat gunguna na kat sinitan na tipusok na it will be reflected in my heart that is what I need to do to maintain a passion at heart but above all, since that passion, that is a God-given passion, that is the fruit of the Spirit, I need to be submissive. Kitaak manan, re-examine my surrendered life. Why is it nga peng awan iti passion ko? Maybe I have hurt the Holy Spirit. Because the fruit of the Spirit is love. Under that love is passion, peace, joy, long-suffering, patience. And the passion that I took it, it is not a built-in, a mo. That is the fruit of the Spirit within your heart. And a life that is so detached and rebellious, the Panangidalana, will produce a coldness. heart. Oh, my friend, that is what I do. When I'm having a cold heart, it depends on me. The people knows if you're cold. And no one coming a worker, but doing is the work of the Lord. You feel shame and guilt. You're doing something out of passion. The devil laughs when he sees his children one he dead. He may build and he may allow you to know all the truths in the Bible and theology. But he fully understands that all those doctrines will be useless if he chained.